What's up everyone? Welcome to Aero TV, the number one place for building success, independence, and happiness in our legal careers. And today I'm answering a big question that I get from a lot of people, and that is Misty. How do I better prepare myself for a masterclass for creating the Microsoft 365 case management system? People coming into my masterclass want to be the most prepared for that class, and they really want to be as productive as possible in that class. So in today's video, I am answering that number one question and giving you my three tips to getting started with a masterclass for Microsoft 365's case management system. If this is something that you're excited about, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing, if not now, certainly by the end of this video. Hopefully I have won you over by then. If you don't already know, I'm Misty Murray. Thank you for joining me today. Let's dive into today's video. Tip number one is to start familiarizing yourself with the applications in the Microsoft 365 system, once known as Office 365 and now known as Microsoft 365. Microsoft rebranded April 21st of this year. So you're going to start seeing Microsoft instead of Office. There were reasons for this of which I won't get into here, but I have a video right here, I'll post it right here, about how you can learn more about these applications, how they integrate with SharePoint, and how you can use them to manipulate them in such a way that creates a case management system for you and for your team. The better you start to understand the applications, their functionality, and what it is that they actually do, the better it is for you to create that system. And speaking of creating that system, that brings me to tip number two. Tip number two is to create a plan. And in my masterclass, that is something that I provide to you. I provide you a spreadsheet that sort of serves as your blueprint for creating your case management system. It's almost like building your house. And in order to build your house, you have to start with the blueprint. Same concept here. In order to build a case management system, you really have to know what it is you wanna get out of it. And to know that, you need to start with a plan. So tip number one is really familiarizing yourself with the applications, and tip number two is creating that plan to implement those applications into your case management system. What do you want out of your SharePoint site? What do you want out of your case management system? What do you need it to do? When you create a SharePoint site, what are you going to do with that site? Do you want to integrate a calendar? Do you want to integrate planner? Do you want to integrate a notebook? Do you need to integrate any quick links or anything else? All of those things and more you can do, which I teach in my masterclass. But you do have to have this sort of foundational, fundamental understanding of what it is that you're getting into. Tip number three is to start with the end in mind. We have this incredible array of applications given to us in the Microsoft environment, and we need to start with the end in mind when creating that case management system. Step back, ask yourself, what do you truly need, not only out of a case management system, but out of a SharePoint site that's solely dedicated to a matter? Furthermore, what are the triggers that you're going to put in place in order to flow through your system? That's just it. You've bought a product, now you have to create the system that makes it function. That is what I teach in the masterclass. It's the DIY method because not all of us have the ability and the finances to hire a company for a custom build. If you do, give me a call. But if not, join a masterclass and learn how to do it all yourself because Microsoft has given us all these applications that empower us to be more efficient in our job, to do it from anywhere, and to do it securely. So once you understand the results that you want to achieve with your case management solution, then you have to discuss what you want to serve as trigger points. So let's talk about that for a second, and I'll give you a scenario from my own client management system. So I'm gonna use my website as an example. On my website, I have a button for a Microsoft quote request form. What does that do? That button is actually a link and it links to a Microsoft form 
that I have prepared to collect the data that I need from the consumer that is landing on my website. So that consumer fills out a form and that form gets sent to me in an automated email that I've set up in my case management or client management system. Once that email gets to me, I click on the link which sends me to the Microsoft form and gives me all of the data that I need from that person. It's an intake and a lot of you already have these sort of intakes. Put them on your website, email them to your potential client, but that's my trigger point. It's a Microsoft form. Then I contact the consumer with a quote. They decide whether or not they want that quote, but what if they do? They email me and say, hey, we want to work with you. So I create a contract, I send them that contract, and once they sign that contract and I send it back to them and they pay their retainer, then I open up an entire SharePoint site dedicated to that client. It's quite easy for me to migrate that data that I had before in my sort of leads file into their own SharePoint system. Now, everything that I need for that client is under one cohesive system and it's under one SharePoint site, which makes it much easier for me to manage. So those are my three tips today. I want you to start getting familiar with all of the applications and what they do and how they function independently. And in the masterclass, we're going to really fine tune your plan. So tip number two, create that plan. But in the masterclass, we're going to fine tune it. I will give you a project management spreadsheet so that you can track your progress throughout creating your case management system. And then we got tip number three, which is to start with the end in mind. We need to do that with anything, especially if we are in that litigation field. There is no reason why we can't start with the end in mind, because usually we know what's coming down the pipeline. Yeah, there may be some hiccups here and there, but we have the ability to start with the end in mind and we can do that with this case management system. So I hope I have given you something of value today. I hope you took something away from this video and understood what it is that you really need to do and step back and look at before you dive completely in and build that case management solution. Whether or not you're doing it yourself or hiring somebody else to do it, you really have to understand the system that you want to put in place. A product is just a product. Legos are just Legos until we build them, until we scale them. And so while I encourage you to build your own case management solution, you really need to understand your goal and what you want to get out of it. Now that's not to say that you're not gonna change something in your case management solution down the road because I guarantee you, you will. And that's completely okay. Lots of people do it, but Microsoft empowers us to be able to do that quite well, whether it's with a single SharePoint site or globally across the board. Again, I hope this video was of value to you today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and consider clicking that bell notification to get notified of each time I put a video on here. Of course, good luck to you and all that you do. And I guarantee you, you can create your own case management system leveraging the power of Microsoft 365. You probably already had it and never knew it was available to you like this. We're gonna completely transform your subscription in the masterclass. So join me in the next one. So good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs you to be happy, needs you to be secure, needs you to work the way that you want to work. When you work the way that you wanna work, you're much happier and so is the team surrounding you. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have an amazing weekend ahead of you and I'll see you back here on the next one. Bye. If you're interested in learning more about the Microsoft 365 case management system, please consider joining us for the next masterclass. You can sign up at www.aeroconsultants.solutions forward slash events. In the masterclass, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to create the case management system that you always wanted and never knew you had at your fingertips. Join us in the next masterclass. I'll see you in class.